Welcome to our course on existentialism, where we explore its origins, delve into powerful tenets, and analyze its lasting impact on the modern world. Diving right into the context of existentialism, consider a world experiencing the seismic shocks of the Industrial Revolution. Paradigms shift, societal structures fluctuate, and amidst this chaos, the roots of existentialism take hold. An era gripped by war, witnessing destruction on a never-before-seen scale, inexorably shapes a philosophy emphasizing freedom and individuality. A scathing departure from the determinism of prior ideologies, existentialism empowers the individual above all else. Now let's move into the age of uncertainty post, World War II, where shambles of once-held truths reeked of existential despair. It is important to note the critical figures of this era, such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir. Their works, A Beacon in Darkness, stressed on personal freedom and choice, promising navigable channels through these tumultuous times. Straddling the delicate line between carpe diem and nihilism, existentialism offered solace and purpose, transforming despair into hope. Grounded in the belief of authenticity, it motivated individuals to seize life with conviction, stamping it with their unique signature. The wisdom of existentialism more than ever finds its resonance in today's quest for individual meaning, making it much more than an erstwhile philosophical movement. Existentialism, for those exploring its depth, reveals the undercurrents of individual freedom and one's meaningful journey within a universe seemingly uncaring of human existence. Driven by our actions, we cast the mold of our existence, dissolving the restraints of the deterministic ideologies of older philosophies. Now we examine the existential crisis born from Nietzsche's God is Dead, a provocative statement that echoes the crisis of traditional moral values and the entangling webs of religious dogma. This crisis undoubtedly has led to divergent philosophical interpretations. On one hand, there's nihilism, viewing life as senseless and inducing despair. On the other, there's existentialism, which recommends we should seek personal meaning despite the indifferent universe. A stark contrast on the spectrum, existentialists see the potential for creation, leaving an indelible mark on their universe, while nihilists succumb to despair. This polarization, this tumultuous tug of war, between desperate despair and creative reasoning, is the crux of these philosophies, shaping our perception and approach to existence itself. Kierkegaard, Nietzsche, Sartre, three names that resonated through the depths of existential philosophy, challenging and reshaping perspectives. Kierkegaard's concept of a leap of faith shook the faith in rationality, propelling subjective truths to the forefront. Nietzsche, through his groundbreaking concept of the Ubermensch, challenged us to rebel against societal shackles, urging us to hold our unique personal values dear. Bringing up the rear is Sartre's stark revelation of bad faith, a radical confrontation of our denial of absolute freedom. Dovetailing elegantly into this triad of philosophical giants comes Simone de Beauvoir with her unique twist, translating existentialistic ideals into the ethic of ambiguity. For her, ambiguity isn't a curse, but a testament to life's inherent uncertainty, the precursor to a richer, more fulfilling existence. Her advocacy for embracing the uncertain, such as the ambiguity around career choices, compounds the existential ideology of authenticity and purpose. These innovative thinkers painstakingly weaved the fabric of existential philosophy, fostering the belief in unique personal meanings amid an indifferent universe. They underscored that the tumultuous journey through this realm of existence, riddled with uncertainties, ultimately shapes the essence of our lives, subsequently defining who we truly are. An existential crisis seizes us when the floodgates of freedom burst open. Each day, we wake up to a world of limitless possibilities. You can breakfast on avocado toast, run a marathon, or write a magnum opus. But before you celebrate, remember, every choice can mold or mar your existence. Picture a crossroads with infinite paths stretching out, the horizon scattering under the weight of too many sunrises. This is what the existential crisis looks like and it can be as exhilarating as it is terrifying. This freedom also invites angst, a feeling of dread at the enormity of life's choices. Now imagine navigating through this wilderness of existential freedom. Your decisions are etched onto the canvas of your life, 
determining its shape, color, and narrative. You might wake up one day and find yourself entrenched in a sedentary lifestyle because of years of choosing extra sleep over exercise. Every step taken is a commitment, every choice forging chains of cause and effect. Existentialism offers no consolation of destiny or divine plan. You hold the master key, solely responsible for the directions your life takes. In the grand echo chamber of existence, the voice rebounding is always yours. As we take the plunge into authenticity, it's akin to aligning oneself with personal convictions. A musician, for example, who creates masterpieces from the depth of their soul, not aiming for monetary gain or popularity, exudes authenticity and existentialism. It's about embracing our inherent freedom and bearing the responsibility for our choices. At the flip side of authenticity lies an existential pitfall termed bad faith, a denial of freedom by adhering to societal expectations. Bad faith signifies a betrayal of our true selves. An employee, for instance, who unquestioningly follows company norms is shying away from their freedom of choice thereby, living in bad faith. Navigating towards authenticity compels us to dismantle such barriers and reclaim our freedom by aligning our actions with personal beliefs. The journey through existentialism is hence a constant tussle with bad faith and relentless pursuit of authenticity. Both facets together encapsulate the intricate narrative of existentialism, highlighting the quest for authenticity and the associated existential trials traversed along the path. As we delve into the existentialist perspective, we encounter concepts of individual freedom, choice, and personal responsibility. Existentialism's fabric is woven with the threads of these notions, painting a perspective where our essence is determined by our actions, not preordained characteristics or divine plans. Consider the choice between scrolling aimlessly on social media or learning a new skill. An existential viewpoint contends that any such decision is reflective of individual priorities, molding our identity in the process. Segwaying into a real-life application, meet Viktor Frankl, a life marked by extreme adversity as a Holocaust survivor, yet his story witnesses resonance of existentialism in its truest sense. Amidst the horrors of concentration camps, Frankl discovered meaning and purpose, treating suffering not as an unbearable burden, but a catalyst for seeking a formidable personal goal. His story underlines a key aspect of existentialism, the potential for empowerment, even amidst adversity. Frankl's narrative reinforces the relevance of existential philosophy, being not only an antiquated theory, but indeed a guidepost, illuminating life's path through the tunnel of suffering towards an empowered and meaningful existence. The core essence of existentialism lies in its emphasis on personal choice and authenticity. It foregrounds the individual's journey towards finding their true self, an odyssey guided by their deliberate actions and conscious decisions. A cornerstone of the existential philosophy, this recognition of ultimate freedom, however, opens the gates to a distinctive universe of dread and responsibility, characterized by angst. Yet this angst is not a despairing resignation, but a call to arms, awakening us to the duty that accompanies our freedom. Fast forward to our connected but paradoxically isolating world today, and the wisdom of existentialism strikes a resonating chord, embodying timeless insights. It encourages us to confront the perennial tide of societal pressures and fabricated image culture, urging us to carve out our authentic existence. Be it the digital nomad defining their work-life balance or an individual contending with societal norms, existentialism advocates for asserting our freedom against faceless structures and persisting in our quest for a meaningful life. Thus, with its profound confluence of freedom, responsibility, and timeless appeal, Existentialism remains a crucial philosophy, providing a compass in the labyrinth of existence.